Hello, my name is Christopher Leidick. I'm the District Archaeologist and Historian for the U.S. Forest Service here at Lusty Depot, stepping off point for visitor adventures here on the Osceola National Forest in Florida. Located in the town of Alusty, Florida, the Alusty Depot has been the keystone of the community here for over 150 years. Today, the Alusty Depot serves as a stepping off point for visitors and history buffs alike who visit the Osceola National Forest, located between Jacksonville and Lake City in the interior of the state of Florida. As early as 1835, stagecoach and postal service began at what was then known as Alusty Station. The location was important due to the number of major roads and former Indian trails that converged near the location. The importance of this area increased over the next 16 years when the Florida Atlantic and Gulf Central Railroad announced that Alusty had been selected as the location for a freight station. On the 22nd of February 1864, the Battle of Alusty provided Confederate forces the victory they desperately needed to turn back Union Expeditionary Forces attempting to sever the state of Florida from the rest of the Confederacy. During the battle, the station was used by Confederate forces for troop transportation, ammunition distribution, and as an ambulance depot to evacuate wounded troops following the engagement. With the decline of Florida's timber and land markets prior to the Great Depression, and with the increase in truck-based commerce ushered in with the paving of U.S. Highway 90 in 1923, the importance of a lusty depot waned. By the 1920s, much of the surrounding countryside had been severely cut over, burned, and subsequently abandoned by the lumber companies that formerly worked in. In the early 1930s, the U.S. Forest Service began purchasing much of this undesirable land in order to create the Osceola National Forest, proclaimed in 1931 by Herbert Hoover. The economic decline of the town of Alusty continued, and finally with the construction of U.S. Interstate 10 in 1962, the Seaboard Coast Airline Railway decided to partially retire the station as larger, more prosperous stations in Lake City and Baldwin were more easily accessible to Alusty by road. In 1971, the depot was officially retired from active service and was relocated to a private citizen's farm. In 1994, Alusty Depot was donated to the U.S. Forest Service. The following year, it was moved to its present location, only about 100 yards from where it stood for over 150 years in the town of Alusty, Florida.